Welcome to Two Minute Fluid Mechanics, helping you learn some fluid mechanics in about two minutes. Can pressure increase in the flow direction? Reducing the pressure when analyzing flows. Now let's join Professor Skeptic's office hours already in progress. Professor, can I ask a question? May you ask? Uh, sorry, may I ask a question about last week's exam? Uh, which question? Well, question three. You showed us a diverging duct, and you asked if the pressure at the entrance is higher or lower than that at the exit. Obviously, it is lower. Well, I said the pressure at the entrance was higher. Otherwise, wouldn't the flow go the opposite way? Yeah, I did the same thing, man. M me too. Can you explain it, please? I'll share my screen. Here's question three. We have an incompressible liquid flowing through a section of diverging duct. We're neglecting friction and other irreversibilities. This is obviously the correct answer. The pressure goes up. I'll explain it using mass in Bernoulli. From conservation of mass, as area increases, the flow speed decreases. Here's the equation. For incompressible flow, density drops out, and we solve for V2. Since A2 is greater than A1, V2 has to be less than V1. Now let's apply the incompressible Bernoulli equation along the center line. This equation holds since if there are no irreversibilities. There's no change of elevation along the center line, so these two terms cancel. Since V2 is less than V1, P2 must be greater than P1. So for the diverging section of duct on the exam, the correct answer is P2 is greater than P1. How can the flow go downstream if the pressure upstream is lower? Well, you need to remember that this section of duct is just one section in an overall duct system. I'll show you. Suppose the whole duct looks like this. If the flow is driven by a high pressure tank, we have approximately stagnation conditions here. This is what drives the flow. But in each section, pressure can go up or down. In the converging part, velocity goes up, and pressure goes down. In the diverging part, velocity goes down and pressure goes up. This part's also converging. The bottom line is that as speed increases, pressure decreases. And as speed decreases, pressure increases. Only this part is the section of duct that was on the exam. Thanks, Professor. That makes sense. Of course it does. Thank you, sir. Well, I still find it hard to believe, dude. Then go back and reread the book and study your notes. And don't call me dude. In summary, when an incompressible fluid flows through a duct of varying area, the pressure changes opposite to that of flow speed. For example, when a section of duct expands, the flow speed goes down, but the pressure goes up. In this case, the pressure indeed increases in the direction of flow. Fluid mechanics is fascinating, but not always intuitive. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.